Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impression review and wear test of the Maybelline Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Stick. I picked mine up at CVS, but of course you could get it at any drugstore, Target, Walmart, Ulta, etc. So mine is still completely sealed in the plastic. So let's open this bad boy up. So it has the product on one end and then like a little sponge beauty blender type situation on the other end which feels pretty good actually it's really nice and soft so I'm gonna guess that is there to help you blend it out um, it's pretty small though I think that would take forever um, it's convenient but I probably would rather just use like a full-size beauty blender and I did get mine in the shade 220 natural beige so it says to apply foundation stick onto skin and blend with fingertips. Hmm, okay. Um, Superstay multi-use foundation stick makeup is formulated with a cream to matte finish and pointed blender sponge for easy and quick application at home or out on the town. All right. So I am just gonna start applying this. I don't have any primer on my face. All I did was put a little bit of moisturizer on. So yeah, we're gonna see how the foundation just holds up on its own without any kind of primer or anything. So I am just going to, hopefully this matches me okay. My CVS, I'm seeing online that it says it has 16 shades, but my CVS only had maybe six, and this was the darkest one they had. So, it actually looks like it's a pretty good match, though. I don't really know, like, how much I should be applying. So I'm just going to kind of draw some lines. Hold on my neck. So I will attempt to blend it out with the sponge that comes with it. If not, I have a damp beauty blender here or a foundation brush. So let's see. Ugh, and it's like pains me to be using this dry, but because it's attached in here, I don't want to get it wet because I feel like then it won't dry properly and it'll just like harvest bacteria and be disgusting. That's actually blending out really nicely though with this sponge. Hmm, it's pretty good of getting like in the little crevices like around your nose and stuff. So while I'm applying the foundation, let me just read you some information about it. And I'm just reading this stuff right off of Maybelline's website. Whether you're looking for a cream foundation or a contour foundation, this multitasking stick is a must-have essential that conceals contours, highlights, and covers. Our first all-in-one foundation stick features a cream to matte foundation and a precision pointed blender sponge that is perfect for applying cream foundation at home or touching up your look on the go. And you do get 0.25 ounces or 7 grams of product. Product, and it retails for about $11.99 and it does come in 16 different shades. So yeah, I actually kind of like this little sponge that comes with it. I'm not mad at it. It is really small though, so I feel like it definitely would have been quicker had I just blended it out with a foundation brush or a beauty blender or I mean even in my fingers like the website says, but I don't know. I don't like to do that. I don't like the feeling of any makeup all over my hands. Am I the only one? So I think whenever I'm applying it at home, I probably would just use like my regular beauty blender or foundation brush. But this is perfect for on the go. If you're out and need to just do your makeup real quick in the car or if you just need to do a little touch up, like this is perfect and so convenient. And it's a little small thing that you can just easily throw in your purse, so. I like that a lot. So, so far I really like the finish of it a lot. It is coming off on my fingers a little bit when I touch my face. I wouldn't say it's completely matte, like powder matte finish. It's just kind of like a nice natural finish. The coverage was pretty good. I did only do one layer and my skin, as you saw, is relatively clear right here. I don't know if the camera would even be able to pick it up, but I have like teeny, teeny bit of dark spots. So I'll just kind of tap right over those and just see how buildable it is. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So I would say coverage wise, it's like medium to buildable. It looks really good though. Let me zoom you in so you can see. You can see this is where I kind of built it up a little bit. I 
I'm gonna just do the rest of my makeup really quick off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so I just finished applying my makeup. I did just set it a little bit kind of in my T-zone area. It is summertime right now and regardless of what foundation or makeup I'm wearing, I always tend to get a little bit oily, kind of like right on my cheeks and my nose. And I didn't use any kind of setting spray or anything like that. And I tried to keep the overall face makeup relatively light um, so it wouldn't affect how the foundation wears throughout the day. I will do a photo test really quick and show you guys what it looks like in pictures. So it is 12.20 p.m. I have a couple hours till I have to be to work, so I'm just gonna do some things around the house. So I'll probably update you guys before I go into work and then after I get out at the end of the night because I am working pretty late today. So we'll see how this goes. So I just pulled up to work. I gotta run in, but I just wanted to real quick show you guys the foundation and do a little update. It is now 2.10, so almost exactly two hours since I first applied it and it still looks really good. And now that I'm like actually outside in natural light, it looks like it's a really good match for my skin tone and it just looks beautiful. Like I love the finish of it. So yeah, let me show you up close. Beautiful. I'm gonna have a really crazy few hours. I triple booked myself tonight at the salon, so um, probably gonna be sweating. We'll see. I will uh, update you at the end of the night and we'll see how it holds up. So guys, it is 10.13 p.m. It is just about to be 10 full hours that I've been wearing this foundation. Work was absolutely crazy. I was sweating, I was blow drying hair, blowing hot air in my face, like it was a mess. <laughs> so yeah, let's look at how this foundation is looking. Ooh, I can't believe it. This looks so good still. I can feel that my face was like starting to get oily and obviously, you know, I was sweating and stuff, but honestly my nose gets really oily and most foundations that I wear like it'll break up really really badly or like just completely be gone off of my nose by the end of the night so the fact that like I mean it's barely barely just kind of breaking up a tiny bit like right on top so my overall thoughts I love how this applies it's super quick and easy to put on and it blends out so nicely so easily it has really good coverage the finish of it is so beautiful it's not too dewy not too matte it's just a really nice natural beautiful finish i like that it has a little sponge applicator on the end that makes it super convenient and really great for on the go or if you need to do touch-ups the shade selection i feel like isn't great but for drugstore i feel like it's kind of average this shade that i got 220 natural beige seemed to match me pretty well. I do feel like this would work with all skin types. If you are super oily, you might just need to set it with powder um, and probably blot a little bit throughout the day. Like I said, my face is feeling super oily right now and it still held up really nicely. My only complaint about this product is the fact that you get such a little amount. Like, you can see that's literally all that comes in here. Like, I'm gonna go through that quick. And it is $12, which is a little bit on the high side for drugstore foundations. And considering you're getting such a small amount, I would love if this was closer to like the $7 or $8 range. So yeah, those are all of my thoughts on the Maybelline Superstay Stick Foundation. I really like this a lot. This is definitely going to be my go-to foundation. I also really love cream contour, so I think I might get this in a darker shade so I can use it to contour as well. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful and you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, then give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe before you go, and I'll see you really soon in my next video. Bye!